Frank Myers, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Dobre den. Um, first of all, I'm sorry I'm not speaking your language, so, so I, I'm sorry for that. And I hope you follow my German English today in this little speech. So, uh, talking about creativity is to make things happen. This is a um, philosophy I'm always using when I'm starting up uh, with a new project. This is what we are doing these days here in Varna in form of an international music institute we want to establish for the next years here in Warner for giving young musicians a chance to get professional education in instruments, in um, composition and music business, in jazz and popular music. This is for the future. Um, yeah, but um, today I'm not talking in front of musicians, I'm talking in an economy school. And so I want to give you a bit of an idea about the international music business, uh, what's going on. Um, people say there is no business like show business, and they are right, and there are reasons for that. The reason is not that these people taking more drugs or having better sex life or whatever. It's more because it's quite a hard business. It's quite hard to make it there, uh, you need a totally different kind of passion and a different kind of creativity or desire for making it. Let me give you an example. To sell car tires, it's very easy. In winter, you know, I need winter tires in stock for October. In summer, you know, I need summer tires in stock for April. It's done, easy. But uh, let's say you're looking after a young musician, a young guitar player, a young singer. Nobody needs his music at the beginning, you know? So what are you going to do to bring his music in the radio? What are you going to do to bring his music on the big stages of festivals? Or what are you going to do to bring his ass out of his bed morning at 7 o'clock to do a radio interview at Radio Varna or something? That's a challenge, I can tell you. So it needs passion, it needs creativity, and that's it. I want to promote the music business today because it's still a great business. There's a lot of money in it, wonderful people you meet, you can travel all over the world. All right. I don't want to go too deep inside in the details because this time is too short. But, uh, but I want to give you an idea why the USA and England are still the leading nations when it comes to sell pop culture all over the world. They are still doing the big stars, they are still selling music all over the world. They have the most percentage of the international music market, as you know and as you hear by yourself. So now you will think this guy is a German, he's not talking about the German market, the German music market. It's very easy. Germany is an engineering country, we are selling cars and we are selling machines out to the world. On our highways, you don't have a fundamental speed limit. You can drive your Porsche, you can drive your Mercedes as as fast as you want to do it, and you, can, and you can imagine the German car industry takes care about it, that it will be like that for the future. Yeah. So, England, the second biggest exportation goody in England is pop culture after oil. Everybody knows British petrol, BP. The second biggest goody for exportation in England is pop culture. So back in the days in the 90s when Radio 1, the BBC Radio 1, what is the main radio station in England, started to formating their program as all the private stations did. Formating means only playing top 40 music, playing evergreens, not playing that much new music anymore. So what happened? The whole industry, what is a very well music, very well organized music industry, there are many organizations, taking care that they got power when it comes to uh, work for their interests on political or media reasons. Yeah? So what happened with Radio 1? They started to stop playing a lot of new music and the industry was scared because they needed this station for promoting the new music like drum and bass, like dubstep, all this kind of music to make it popular, to bring it up in the charts because a high chart position 
is the main reason when it comes to export this music in other territories. So after a while, Radio 1 said, all right, we can hear you, we understand you, so let's change again. One reason. Let's talk about the Americans. In Germany, we have a music award called the Echo Award. Maybe somebody knows it. It's a big television show, a very expensive television show. But this is only a sales award. That award means the artist who sold most the last year, he will become another big, huge marketing spot to get more successful. The American Grammys, totally different driven. The American Grammys are innovative award. That means people saying, this is a young, interesting artist. This is an artist we really love. Not that popular already. But maybe last year, somebody knows Kendrick Lamar. Nobody knowed him before. Kendrick Lamar last year, so many Grammys, such a big spot. Now everybody talks all over the world about this new hip hop guy, this new hip hop producer and rapper. So what the Americans are doing is, they're using this expensive award show for setting a big spot and on new talents. They say, hey world, look at this. This is our, our new talents, so check them out because we love them. And that's a big difference. Even America is very positive driven when it comes to when it comes to show business. Let's say you sit with a producer like Dr. Dre and you ask him about somebody he really doesn't like. He would never say, I don't like him. He would say, I don't listen to that kind of music, you know? So that means the Americans, they don't use any negations when it comes to talking about the others, yeah? And one day I was sitting with Chelly Bean, who is a big producer, who worked with Madonna, who worked with Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson. And he told me, you know, Frank, you Germans, you know very well how to sell CDs. But we Americans, we know very well how to make stars. So people, it's on you if you want to sell CDs in the future or if you want to make stars. Thank you. <laughs>